Hi, my name is Rebecca and welcome to Yarn and Pajamas. Today is um, Stitcher Library episode one. It's the first episode. Stitcher Library is a collaboration with Cherry at Yarn Joy Podcast where we're going to go through our library, our crochet library of patterns and we're going to stitch them up. So you can get accumulate your library different ways. You can have like a physical book, you can have um, magazines, digital downloads that you bought from Etsy, you've got um, bookmarks for um, blog posts of free patterns. Um, there's just so many different ways. Pinterest, so many different ways to accumulate all of these patterns that essentially set and collect dust. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to knock off the dust and we are going to stitch up these patterns. So that's why I'm in a different location today. Today I'm on the opposite side of my bedroom in front of my um, cube cases. I call them cubes. Um, they house books and yarn and just a bunch of different stuff. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm going to tell you about some of the items that I have in my library, but we're going to start today with my magazines. I very rarely crochet any items from my magazines when I do purchase them. I don't have a lot of magazines because I don't purchase a lot of them, but I do have some. And a lot of, well I won't say a lot, but a few of them I have just purchased here recently because like I said I don't really buy magazines that much but I've gotten a few here recently and then the other ones I have have come from thrift stores so I have um, I'm just gonna show you a few of them and maybe show you like some of the patterns that I liked out of them so we have this one right here it is from January 1983 it's called a work basket so in this one, it's like a needle craft, like there's like different needle crafts in it. It's not just crochet, but they had these um, cute little mouse, mouse, cute little cat toys. Got the mouse and the ball and stuff. Thought that would be cute to stitch up. I do have um, some more of those little ones and I did buy these at, um, as you can tell, these ones came from a thrift store. So this is Quick and Easy Crochet. It says it's America's number one crochet magazine. And this was back in July, August of 2001. And here is what I really liked out of it. I'm on a doily kick. I'm really digging those doilies right now. And look at these, Ge geometric jewels. I thought those would be like really cute. Um, and this is a recent purchase, Crochet in a Weekend, Annie's Crochet in a Weekend. I got this magazine, let's see, I got Crochet Home. I essentially only bought this one because um, Pamela from Pamela's Adoring Crochet, she has a pattern in it. And that's what I got bookmarked. Um, it is called a Soup bow cozy, and I really do want to make that. And then on the opposite side here is these little mug rugs. I want to make those. Um, so I got easy living crochet, crochet exclamation mark, and the Annie's crochet in a weekend. I think I got them all at the same time. And I bought them for a specific reason, like I was um, like going to be somewhere that I would have time to sit and look. Oh, I was getting ready to go on vacation. So I thought I could look at them when I was in the car. Here's another one that I bought. Um, it's got a sticky note on it from um, the thrift store, Crochet, Love of Crochet. Oh, that's got some, the person's name is still on it. Um, let's see. 
crochet world and I really like how the magazines that um, put this in the back that shows you everything that's in it and that way you can pick like if you want to make any of the patterns from that or not so, um, I got this a couple years ago it is I thought I could tell you the year, but January 2020 is when it's, so I got it the year before that for Christmas. It's Simply Crochet. I remember I got this at Michael's because it came with a calendar that I had, um, it was for 2020. Um, have this, Christmas Crochet. Um, there are a ton of things that I want to make out of this, and this is more like a, feels more like a book than a magazine, really. I do have the Spooktacular, any Spooktacular crochet. There are tons, and I mean tons of things I wanna do out of here. Let's get organized, crochet world. I've not even looked at this one. I found this one under my bed when I came upstairs a while ago. And I sat down in the floor here Put my foot up under my bed where you guys are sitting. So I've got a couple more crochet worlds here. Have a happy crochet Christmas. And I do have, I don't know where it's at, um, could have left it at work, is the new Annie's, um, what is that? Halloween, the new Annie's Halloween um, magazine. I also have a subscription to the Happily Hooked magazine. I have a lifetime subscription to them, and then I have purchased a bunch of, like a couple of months ago or a couple of weeks ago, um, ePattern Central, I think is what it's called, dot com, had a sale for like um, all of their everything was a dollar fifty and I bought a bunch of, of the Annie's Christmas magazines so I do have a bunch of those and I believe I have just like a random crochet world like around Christmas time magazine that I purchased a long time ago and I made a snowman basket I believe out of it so today the magazine I'm going to use I bought at the thrift store it's been like a year or so ago but this is love of crochet and it is winter of 2015 it's got let me see if I can peel it off here the whoever donated it it had her address was still on here So I can show you all of it. So it says 18 cozy projects, scarves, wraps, hats, and more. Festive garments for holiday parties. Shape your projects with Tunisian short rolls. Mm, I like that because I'm just now learning how to Tunisian crochet. Plus projects for kids. So the project that I'm going to make out of here is the winter, warm winter wrap and then there is a another picture over here of it I hope you guys can see that really good if not I'll pop in a picture right here of it and that way you can see it a little bit better because my lighting is not all that great and I know this so the warm winter wrap is designed by Melissa Leapman so I did go and I thought it would be neat to kind of give you guys some information about the designers when information is available to give. So I did look up a Melissa Leapman, got her on my iPad here, and um, she has a website, it's called melissaleapman.com and I will put a link for that down below. I will also look and see if I can find a 
um, this magazine, like a digital copy of it, and put it down below, or I'll look on eBay and see if I can find it, if anybody's interested in making the wrap or looking at anything else in there. I don't think it has a, the sampler page on the back. No, I don't, or I'd show you every pattern that was in it. But let's go back to Melissa. So I'm gonna read you just a little bit about Melissa here. It says, with over 1,000 designs in print, Melissa Leapman is one of the most widely published American crochet and knit designers at work today. She's a freelance designer. She's worked with leading ready-to-wear design houses in New York City. Also, top yarn companies commission Melissa to create designs promoting their new and existing yarns each season. Her popular patterns and name recognition help them sell yarn. She has several books published, and some of those books are called Cables Untangled, Mastering Color Knitting, and Knitting the Perfect Fit. And they're all published by Random House. She is also the author of the Knit Stitch Pattern Handbook, which is by um, Random House, and it's like a comprehensive knitting stitch dictionary. So, she has, in 2017, her most important and largest work to date was published. It's called 6,000 Plus Pullover Possibilities. The book offers interchangeable sweater pieces to allow the reader to knit customized women's sweaters in nearly every gauge and every size. So it looks like um, she holds workshops and teaches at most major knitting and crochet events. Um, yeah. So it looks like Melissa is a super busy and she designs crochet and knit. So that's about the designer. Now on to, oops, sorry I moved Jim, the yarn that I'm gonna be using for this project. So I'm going to make this warm winter wrap for my friend Danette because she's super awesome. I just love her two pieces. Um, my life would be so much worse off if she was not in my life. I love her that much. She is my bestie. Um, her and my sister are right up there. So she is like a, a sister. But um, here lately, she's been cold all of the time, which is not like my girl. She's usually hot, but we share an office at work together too that's how we met was at work but we share an office and I'm hot and she's cold and <laughs> sometimes it's a struggle with us but I'm gonna make her this wrap because she said that she wanted it and she is so, always so good and kind to me that I'm going to make this for her so hi Danette she generally watches my videos so I'll say hi to her so yeah, so I'm going to use, it's called Yarn B Must Be Merino, and the color I'm going to use is teal. Now this is not really showing up, it's showing up more blue, which is not good, but here in a minute, you guys will be able to see it in all its tealy gloriness. So what's gonna happen now is we are gonna go outside and we are gonna crochet for a little bit and start working up this pattern from Love of Crochet and see what comes of it. We're gonna work for maybe about 30 or 45 minutes and then I'll meet you guys. We'll come right back upstairs and we'll, we'll talk about the pattern and how it's going. So I'll see you guys downstairs outside, okay? Okay, so we're outside. We are sitting in front of the granary and we are going to get started on the stitching here. So I am going to be using a G hook, a four millimeter hook. So let's get to training.
So it's time to go in. I'll see you guys on the inside. Okay, so we're back upstairs. It is a little bit later. I have already gotten ready for bed. Um, I'm changing into my pajamas. Um, wash my teeth, wash my teeth, brush my teeth, and wash my face. Um, so yeah. So as you can see, um, I fought the wind while we were outside crocheting. It was um, pretty
pretty windy this evening, but it did calm down after um, I got through crush I in. I had to, you know, walk the dogs, and while I was walking the dogs, it seemed to die down quite a bit. Um, and then, you know, I ate dinner, watched a little bit of TV. I've been watching The White Lotus on HBO Max. It's different. It's good. It's entertainment, but, you know, not groundbreaking. And then um, I decided to come to bed. And before I um, went to bed, I wanted to just, you know, recap the Stitcher Library episode. So I've got my project in just like one of those reusable um, Joanne bags. It's got little birds on it. So grab my yarn here with my project my um, pretty teal yarn. I did get um, two balls of this on clearance. Not not this Hobby Lobby clearance, but last year's Hobby Lobby clearance for $1.49. It's usually $5.99. But I'm going to need, I only got two balls of this color. So I am going to need another um, couple balls of this. And I'll have to pick those up. When I get a chance. I know this yarn I'm all like tangled up. Let me untangle myself real fast. I'm gonna have to get that fixed up. Okay. So let's go ahead and get that wound up. Lift it up out of the way so that it stops tangling it. So when last I left you outside, I was on starting the third row. I'm such a slow crocheter and working off of that chain ugh, and the wind, it was just ridiculous. But here is what we have so far. And this is what I think is I'm on, it's a four row repeat, and so I'm on my third row. So here's what the third row looks like so far. And I didn't get, you know, very far into the third row, but we did crochet for about 30 minutes outside. And um, I thought, you know, I didn't want to keep you guys too very long out there, so. So I thought that would be fun just to crochet with each other for just, you know, a little bit. And that's it. So this was um, the first episode of um, Stitcher Library. I'm so excited to be doing this. Make sure that you um, go over to Terry's channel at Yarn Joy Podcast and check out and see what she's going to be making. Um, for her Stitcher library and see all of the yarny goodness that she's going got going on over there um, and join in with us um, anybody and everybody um, join in and Stitcher library let us know what you know you are stitching from what you're making um, I do have a Facebook group that I started for the purpose of being able to um, share what we're working on pictures with each other so if you want to go over and join you're more than welcome to so yeah okay well i will not keep you guys any longer i will let you go and i'll see you guys back here in two weeks and i'll show you guys my progress good night bye